Hey, good day to all you alternative thinking, life loving maniacs. Welcome to another episode of Weekend Van Driller. I deeply apologize for not coming out with any content in the last couple of days or so. However, I have been sick as a dog, and I still am sick. And during the time that I've been sick, I'm st I've still been getting up and going into work so I can make the money necessary to take care of business on the financial front. I thought I would make this video just to let all my viewers and subs know what I'm up to, what I'm thinking, and where I'm going to take my van drilling. In t I mean, in terms of what I'm going to do and all that kind of good stuff. <coughs> <coughs> now, excuse me. Basically, what I'm looking at doing is... I like to step up my van drilling a notch or two. So, in the next month or so... <coughs> I'm going to most likely be relocating to either mid-Tennessee... That's the greater Nashville area or the Triangle area of North Carolina, which is basically the, the I don't know if I'm pronouncing the city right, but this is basically the Rhine area. You got Rhine, Cary, and Durham. That's basically the Triangle area of North Carolina. I mean, I used to live in mid-Tennessee and... I loved it down there. It's just the price of housing got way too out of hand. So that was one reason for me leaving Tennessee. And another reason was I wanted to be a little closer to family. So, but, you know, I've been here in the mid, I've been back here in the Midwest since 2009 and you know, much love to the Midwest, but I am so sick and tired of the Midwest. I, I, I'm so ready to get the hell out of here and go somewhere else and see new people, be in a different climate. And also, I'm sick and tired of my job. Now, don't get me wrong, the job I work, you know, they do treat me pretty well. However, I'm just sick and tired of the job. I would like to get out here, learn me a new skill, and get myself into a new occupation that hopefully will pay me a little better than what I'm currently making right now. So I figure I will use my uh, van drilling adventure to kind of, you know, get a few things that I want, plus get a couple of things that I need, such as new skills so I can earn a better income possibly. I mean the last couple of days you know I've been sick as all get out. I mean as soon as I get home from work <clears throat> I mean in fact when I get up and go to work I mean the amount of motivation I'll say that it took for me to just to get out of bed these last uh, couple of days was uh, was just a whole lot. I mean, I was giving all, I was giving my all just to make it through these last couple of days of work. I mean, I thought about calling in a couple of times, but you know, like I said, I got bills to pay, so I really can't afford to take off a whole bunch of days off of work and, and stuff. So, anyhow, whenever I the last couple of days when I <coughs> got home from work, I just went on the computer and spent maybe 15, 20 minutes looking at jobs in both the Nashville area and also in the Triangle area of North Carolina. Now, one job, which is in North Carolina, that kind of sticks out, which I'm considering doing is is a tire technician for commercial vehicles and for that particular position I do not know how much they pay 
what I do know from reading the ad is basically what I would have to do is I would have to go out to wherever semi truck drivers are stranded given that they're t they got a flat or blowout or whatever the case may be and I'm assuming I would have to go out to the site where they're located and either replace their tire in its entirety or retread the tire that they currently are driving on that may have been bad. So that position requires ASC certification and tire retreading, which I'm willing to do. I mean, I think... <clears throat> that would be an, a neat learning experience for me. Now, I never really gave any thought about being an auto mechanic, but I look at it like this. It does not hurt for me or anybody out here, especially if you're living full-time in a vehicle, to learn a few things about automobiles. That way, if you broke, break down, you can at least fix a few things on your own. You don't have to pay out the ass to go to an auto shop. So I'm thinking, you know, if, if I like the tire technician work, I mean, that's if I even choose to go that route. I'm still thinking about it. And there's a small chance I might even branch out and learn a few things about automobiles. And that way I can at least fix a few basics on my vehicles and I can also help other people out here who are stranded just a thought I think is a pretty good one so uh, where was I at yeah I mean you know background living in mid Tennessee I mean like I said I enjoyed it there people there were very nice and at least when I was there, the Southern hospitality was very much alive and active. I mean, maybe, I mean, even in Nashville it was. But definitely when you went outside of Nashville, it was even more alive and active. I mean, your neighbors were neighborly for the most part. <clears throat> and that's one thing about Tennessee I miss. I mean, up here in the Midwest, I mean, my neighbors, they're okay, but... The degree of neighborliness that I had down in mid-Tennessee, I haven't had that degree of neighborliness anywhere else I've ever lived. Not even in Kentucky. I lived in Louisville for about a year and a half, and even there, you know, people there were nice, don't get me wrong, but there's just this vibe that you experience, if that makes any sense. When you go down to mid Tennessee that in most places even in a lot of places in the south you're not going to experience so much now I've been to the triangle area a couple of times and people there were nice still not the same uh, degree of southernness like like you would get in in Nashville but you know people there in the triangle area of North Carolina were decent I mean, what I hear about the Triangle area now is you have a lot of people who, <coughs> excuse me, who moved there from the Northeast mainly. So, you know, whatever, doesn't matter to me. But, you know, those are the two areas that I'm looking at pretty hard at moving to. I mean, just for maybe, I don't know, a year or so. Because, like I said, I'm ready to get the hell out of the Midwest. I'm just sick of it. I just need a break. And I figure, rather I go to Tennessee or North Carolina, I'll probably hang out there until November, December. And then if I have it 100% my way, I'll go there to Florida and I'll be down in Florida from maybe December until March or April. And then after that, then I'll come back here to the Midwest for a little bit and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do after that. So I thought I would just kind of do something like that, you know, that way I can 
fulfill my uh, quest for wanting to travel and at the same time satisfy a couple of my needs like I was discussing a minute ago <clears throat> I just think it'll be neat to just go somewhere else and learn a new skill get a new job meet new people it's kind of like I'm starting life fresh again, so to speak. And this is something about that that gives me a high, if that makes any sense. So, in a nutshell, that's basically what I'm looking at doing in the next month or month and a half or so. I mean, it's tomorrow's going to already be the first day of March, so... This nasty winter weather is not going to stick around for too much longer, especially down south. Because, like, in Tennessee, for an example, it typically starts getting warm and spring-like in March. As we're here in the Midwest where I'm currently located, you don't really see a whole lot of spring-like conditions until April. So there's like a month's difference there. So, yeah. <clears throat> Man, I can't wait to get over this, this nasty cold I got going on. So yeah, that's what I'm looking at doing. Now, if there's any place that anybody out here might want me to go or want me to gain information about, just leave a comment below. Now, as far as me going to certain places, I'm not going to sit here and promise you that I'm going to go there. But if you want me to go there, at least leave a comment below. And if it's feasible, I'll go. And maybe we'll just go from there on that. So, if there's any place you want me to go, or if there's any area that you want me to look up, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to accommodate on those things. So thanks for watching another episode of Weekend Banjo. Everybody try to have a wonderful day. I'll see you on I will see you on the next video. Like and subscribe below.